Organizations have a need to train and develop their personnel. Organizations can use different methods to deliver training, web-based, instructor-led, social learning, or a combination of all three in a blended program. A potentially cost-effective way to develop personnel is to leverage capable members of the organization to teach others valuable skills and knowledge in the work environment. This can be done through mentoring, both structured and unstructured. Through proper pairing of mentors and mentees, members of an organization can increase their effectiveness and contribute more to the organization's goals and key results. The principle of mentoring relationships are foundationally based in social learning theory, created by Albert Bandura and published in his 1977 book, Social Learning Theory. This is a seminal work on which much of mentoring research is based. In it, Bandura states that virtually all learning phenomena resulting from direct experience occur on a vicarious basis by other people's behavior and its consequences for them. The capacity to learn by observation enables people to acquire large integrated patterns of behavior without having to form them gradually by tedious trial and error. Role modeling, a key component of mentoring, provides this observational learning for the mentee. Much of today's research on mentoring is based on Kathy Cram's work over the past three decades. Her seminal treatise on organizational mentoring, titled Mentoring at Work, was first published in 1985. She presents the concise definition of mentorship as relationships that enhance career development. She defines the functions of a mentorship into two categories, career functions and psychosocial functions. Career functions include sponsorship, exposure and visibility, coaching, protection, and challenging assignments. Psychosocial functions include role modeling, acceptance and confirmation, counseling, and friendship. The data on the effects and components of mentorships, both formal and informal, have been extensively documented in research. Involvement in a mentorship has been shown to correlate with an improvement in organizational socialization, increased earnings, and higher job satisfaction. An informal mentorship can be a voluntary relationship between two people, and with it come few requirements or expectations. Formal mentorship programs are often created by organizations, and the mentorships contain a structure consisting of participant requirements, involuntary pairings between mentors and mentees, and a defined time period for completion for the relationship. One of the most important variables that determines the success of a mentorship is the amount of time that the mentor and mentee spend together. The more time the pairing spends together, the more psychosocial and career support the mentee receives. Accessibility to a mentor is a key success factor. The data on differences in outcomes are mixed for the two types with informal relationships often resulting in better outcomes than formal relationships. Though formal mentorships can provide the structure by which pairings can commit to and meet time requirements. My proposal is an eight-week formal mentoring program with a structured curriculum. The key components of the program include mentor-mentee matching based on mentee needs and mentor knowledge and skills, defined goals, objectives, and outcomes of the mentorship, and workbooks for mentors, mentees, and the mentee's supervisor. Participants will use the worksheets in their workbooks to record their activity and their reactions to their experiences on a weekly basis. Organizational support will be integral in the success of the program by allowing the mentors and mentees to meet 
four to five hours a week for uninterrupted interaction, plus one hour a week for a program-wide meeting for participants to discuss that week's progress toward their goals and objectives and to also share their experiences. At the end of the eight-week period, mentee progress will be measured through improvements in key performance indicators, self-reported improvement in mentee abilities and knowledge, and feedback from the mentor and the mentee's supervisor. The curriculum is designed so that it can be used by any employee at any level of the organization. Role-specific aspects of the mentorships will come from pairing assignments and determining goals and objectives. The expected result of this program is a better skilled, more knowledgeable workforce. Over time, a culture of mentoring may develop, improving employee socialization and organizational performance.